Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Ever since the release of Pokemon Pearl on the Nintendo DS, I have considered myself a Pokemon master. In fact, I was too good at Pokemon that my parents decided uh, that they should outlaw it from the house because it's all I ever did. Can I blame them? No, I would also be scared of my raw power and potential. I mean, look at this binder that's holding my Pokemon cards. You would never even be able to tell that I was the one that drew the cover. I don't want to get off topic or anything but it's got some old cards, some new cards, and then the page that I call the silly cards. <clears throat> okay, well, anyways, the reason I tell you this is because I never really played Generation 5, and I feel like that's kind of blasphemous because a lot of people will say that this is their favorite generation of all time. I could Nuzlocke this game, but the steps to use the calculators and the documentation is a lot more scarce, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't going to be fun for me, right? However, I came up with a different idea. Because I still have the maturity level of a fifth Grader, the only difference now being that I just make penis jokes on the internet, I figured, eh, let's just play the game like a normal person. <laughs> If you're wondering why the right side of the screen is green, well, you're already asking too many questions. Don't overthink it. Imagine playing as the boy in a Pokemon game. <laughs> Boring. New game, new character, new beginnings. I'm just kidding. I actually want to take advantage of the fact that this game lets me put little smiley faces in my name, so... So your name's Moist. Ugh, that's good to know. Hugh is such a stupid name. It needs to be something classy like Steven. Steven here. <sighs> Fresh air. A new beginning. I can't wait for my adventure to unfold in this, uh, what's the reason? The Unova region. This game already has me wishing that Pokemon stayed forever 2D instead of trying to go 3D. Apparently there's someone that wants to meet me in town and give me a Pokemon. Not gonna complain. Oh, is that Steven? Hello, Steven. You really just can't believe that I'm getting gifted a Pokemon for free. You're too young to be talking to me like that. Steven buddies up with me as he wants to make sure that I don't lose my way there. Now, I know that this city is very large and it is quite easy to lose your sense of direction. However, I feel more than capable of walking like two blocks down the street. Welcome, welcome. I am the key bearer. The keys I shall grant you, then off I shall go. This process, it may appear odd, but fear not for it works. Okay, is... is that all? Nope! Alright, thanks. Can you just let me pass? I must Dude, ask I just want to play. Thing of you. I just want to play the game. save your game! Fine! Okay, I saved Huzzah! it. And so I depart. Enjoy your new challenges! Oh! Steven tells me that Bianca is waiting for me ahead, so he decides to wait behind while I go and say hello to my friend. Just like my friends and I in real life, we exchange some back shots, and then we get down to business. She asks me if I want to complete the Pokedex. Can I go now? Okay. Bye. I wanted to try and come up with a more concise nicknaming theme throughout this run, so I decided first off that I'm gonna pick Snivy because it has contrary and that is broken. As far as nicknames go, I wanted to make each nickname a combination of two of my favorite things. Now for this first one, I decided, well, my favorite juice is orange juice and my favorite animated TV show is The Simpsons. So welcome to the team. OJ Simpson. Even Bianca agrees that it's a good nickname. And then of course, here comes Steven begging for his own Pokedex. Oh, are you two talk? You two are busy? Okay, I, I can go. I can leave you to it. Steven challenges me to a battle, but dude, it's level five starters. I just wrap him to death. Well, at least I'm free for now to go off on my own adventure. This random stranger decides to gift me a whole ass bicycle. Thanks, I guess. Oh, there's just a whole ass Jirachi out here. What up, gang? I felt as if all of my wishes could come true. <gasps> like a genie? Final wish. One more genie BJ, please. Oh, please no. Making my way to the next town, I get called out by a weird looking trainer on top of a cliff. Fall. <laughs> you have passed the inspection. Follow me. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy in the next town over gives me an elemental monkey, which is incredibly useful. Oh yeah, I need a nickname. Uh, my favorite letter of the alphabet is P, and my favorite character from uh, Mario Strikers Charge is Diddy Kong. 
Meet P. Diddy. This game does not enforce strict level caps, so I will be doing my best to adhere to them. However, if one of my guys is over leveled by a level or maybe two, then I really don't give a shit. No, no, my run is invalid. Oh my God, no. Now, I'm sure you guys already know why Contrary is such a good ability, but especially in this game, the AI doesn't seem to understand uh, what that even does and all of these early game trainers really like to boost my stats. After a few easy trainers, I finally make my way to fl flock is flocessi fl flocessi. I make my way to the ranch. Let me tell you, I am a sucker for slapping soundtracks. This shit goes hard. Oh, hey, Steven. <laughs> Steven. Of course, at this point in the game, this battle is not going to be difficult. Because it's raining, my pen pour can just take out the tailo with a single water pulse, which leaves Steven with only one option, and that is to try and tickle me to death. Death you will achieve because you are only raising my stats. I wonder if this is going to be a repeating theme through the run. After beating Steven, I get to make my way into the ranch, and for the first time ever in my life, I meet a woman who is offering me her egg. While I'm waiting for the egg to hatch, I decide to catch another Mon. In this case, I know that Riolu appears very early in this part of the game, so I decide to get one for myself. I, I, um, I, I, I don't have an explanation for this name. After walking around for a bit, my egg finally hatches. <laughs> There's no way. Sugma is childish. I would like to be a little more upfront. I found the farmer's lost dog, and he's hanging out with this futuristic looking pirate. I, I've already dealt enough with pirates in the past. Man, you, you ever heard of Team Plasma? No. Really? Man, escape plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After my encounter with the pirate, the strange man that I met earlier on the cliff is inviting me into his house. This seems like a good idea. Should... Should I even ask why you have two kids alone in your house? After OJ Simpson manhandled these children, the strange man decides to release me in pursuit of getting my first gym badge. Hey, do I know you? Shut up, just take this. I'm really not surprised. Isn't this region based off of the United States? Hey, you really shouldn't talk to that guy. There, yeah, well, I'm off to go get a gym badge. <laughs> Bro, get your goofy ass off the cliff. You could have just given me these earlier when we were talking. You didn't have to make a whole ass WWE entrance. Believe it or not, I actually felt bad about not using Ladybug in my run and bun playthrough. Nah, I'm just fucking kidding. Who, what am I saying? Yeah, keep sleeping on this guy. Me, 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 me. Me, me, me. Well, to get to the gym leader, we have to go through the trainer school part of it. Uh, the fucking audacity of you to show your face here. God, man, bro, the the music, the sound effects, the animations, everything in this game is so beautiful. Um, she just leads with a Geodude. Get him, OJ. Come with me into my bedroom. What, you want commentary over a grass type fighting a Geodude and a nose pass? Fuck you. While Doc is my favorite character from the Pokemon franchise, in a close second place is now Clyde. He just gives me water. What a G. I don't think in any Pokemon game I've ever been intimidated by a normal type gym. After slapping around the two children that are protecting the gym badge, I finally get the opportunity to defeat Sharon. So I actually have a really interesting strategy to beat this fight. Uh, it took a little bit of planning, but here, I'll show you. So we just lead with our Riolu, and we're actually just gonna hit him with a vacuum wave. Then we're gonna hit him with another vacuum wave. The pit of comes out, and believe it or not, we're gonna hit him with a vacuum wave. Oh, oh, I didn't think about this. Oh, it's raising its stats. Oh no, vacuum wave. That'll teach you. Not the lily poop. Vacuum wave. Yeah, see, it kind of sucks that vacuum wave is a special move because it just kind of tickles the Munchlax. Oh no, he's getting bald. I mean, realistically, all I got to do is swap over to OJ. I can hit him with a leech seed and I'm just going to keep hitting him with leaf tornadoes until he finally decides to kill my OJ. He's low enough HP though, so I'ma just send in the Slugma to finish him off. Hey, 
That's cheating. No items in battle, Sharon. Honestly, man, that's just so fucked up. You know what? Kill my slugma. I don't even care. Uh, Riolu, give this man a syrupy foot job. Little bitch. I'm out of here. After getting my badge, there's a reunion of friends outside. And then we have a group FaceTime call. Yeah, this... This is incredibly uncomfortable. No one's moving. They're just blinking. The level cap is supposed to be level 20. I'm going to level up my guys to like level 17 or 18 because it's not too long of a path between here and Verbank. I think it's Verbank. Well, I'm on my way. What is that? Wood. The only thing I got to do before I can get to Verbank is just take out a few small children. But of course, here comes Sharon once again trying to lecture me about something. Cool. Tall dark grass, so what? No way. Two Pokemon come out in the dark grass? Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Oh, I do appreciate the fishing rod though. Well, anyways, we made it to Verbank. Wait, I'm getting a call? Who's this? My mom! Upon arriving to Verbank, the first thing I see is the gym leader's father abandoning her in the streets. Oh my god, she's crashing out. Roxy, watch your fucking language! There are kids watching this! Just like a guy who got ghosted by the fifth girl this week, it looks like Roxy is now beginning her gym arc. Hey. Uh, hi? What, what do you want? Are you a sweaty, disgusting, sweaty piece of shit like me? Uh... Yeah. Balls. Uh, thanks, man. I should really stop talking to strangers. Yeah, I figured I'd run into you eventually. Bro, that color palette is fucking awful. You look stupid. I accidentally leveled up my Ledian too much, so I'm not gonna use it for the gym battle, but I figured it can teach Brawly a lesson. <clears throat> Aerial Ace! Aerial Ace! Aerial Ace! Aerial Ace! Well fought, Brawly. Better luck next time. Ooh, an egg. Ooh. Never gonna complain about getting a Metacham. After all, pure power is pretty busted. Welcome to the squad. I discovered that in the house next to the gym, there's a clown who gives me a, one of the Gen 1 starters. Not gonna complain. Uh, I think Charmander would be kind of cool because apparently it's fire and dragon type in this game. And I will name him to honor you, French clown. Yeah, fire and dragon type and it gets defiant. Uh-huh. I wanted to get two encounters here. Uh, the first one was Magnemite because I thought he was pretty cool. I'm the guy. I wanted to get a Wooper, but I ended up finding a Ponyard and I thought he was kind of silly. Ah, finally, I'm all alone in my bedrooms. I say to myself in my bedrooms at midnight. No, you are not alone in bedrooms at midnight, said Evil Knife Guy. At this point, I decided to see if I can get PK Hex to work, and I did. I just decided to make all of my guys shiny, so now they look pretty cool, right? Uh, Ponyard, you're looking the wrong way, bro. Turn around and face the camera. Nah, whatever, it's gym time. But first, I just go through the TMs that I've collected, and wow. After playing Run and Bun, I'm starting to realize just how broken setup moves are and whatnot. Um... Why does, like, everyone on my team get power-up punch? It's a rock club. Oh, Roxy's practice. Oh, she's angsty right now. Uh-oh. Wait. It's kind of a vibe. Hey, I know your dad abandoned you, but I'm here to kick your ass. All right, I guess I'm just going to beat up your band members. Dude, psychic types are really strong. Like, look. Kill yourself. There's no way a bald guy is talking to me with this much disrespect. Hey, I'm fucking Zubat. Minotite, quick, hit him with the sissy fanboy hypnosis beam. Hey, I'm fucking Zubat. <laughs> I now like kissing boys. So, uh, you done practicing now? Oh, fuck. Roxy's whipping out the Trubbish lead. Uh-oh! This thing's just gonna set up Toxic Spikes. Toxic Spikes, I don't care. Hit him with the side beam. More Toxic Spikes? Hit him with the side beam. Okay, cool, one more. Roxy, you cheating fuck. Ah, you're confused, idiot. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Yeah! <laughs> fuck you. No, a coughing. 
Roxy, you know this thing is four times weak to psychic moves, right? Oh, fake out. Oh. Actually, thanks. You, you act. You really just healed me in the end. <laughs> Wood. Looks like we're turning up the heat. Meditate, finish the sweep. Oh, fuck it, as a berry. And agility? Why would this thing just not have speed boost? I don't get it. Hold on, meditate! Oh, it's not enough. Meditate, you gotta live the bug bite. You gotta live it. <laughs> it's all good. We got the guy. Bro, Magnet Bomb has gotta have the coolest sound effects. Proof that I beat you? Hell yeah, new bat. Uh, I, I don't know if I want to accept this from you. <laughs> Roxy, were you wearing this during the battle? Oh my god, dude! No way! I won the battle and now I'm famous. I'm gonna be an actor. An actor? Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Slow your roll past me. These videos take so fucking long to edit, but you know what? I enjoy every goddamn second of it. I'll end up finishing this series in parts, and then once it's done, I'll just combine it into like a two-hour-long video again. But until then, uh, I am your slave. Wobble de wobble de wop wobble wobble stack stack in my paper. My wallet look like a Bible.